Namaste, hi, I'm Gayatri, and welcome to Yoga Life Hacks Shanti Kula, where we talk about all of the things that yoga offers that can help improve our lives. And this is about um, three quarters of the way through this sleep challenge, 40 day sleep challenge, where I said I was going to go to bed at nine every night for 40 days and make videos about things that help us sleep. Um, so I thought that since it's almost done, I would come and talk a little bit about my personal um, journey with sleep and sleeping better and how yoga has helped and um, also how this sleep challenge is going. So I have a long history of insomnia, um, almost since I can remember, really. I remember being a child and not being able to sleep and um, it just got worse at different times, uh, you know, when I would have more stress and um, I think having a child and then, you know, the child would keep me up and then I would have more problems sleeping. So one thing that has helped me tremendously with this is yoga. And even though I tried and have been successful with many of the tips of things that you can do right before sleep, um, the thing that has helped the most just in terms of the long term kind of taking care of this problem and helping to get consistent sleep really has just been a regular practice of yoga and of having a good daily routine. Um, so eating well, getting enough exercise, doing breathing exercises, and not having um, the mind be too busy. That's one of the main things is, um, yes, getting off screens at night, but also just in general, you know, not um, taking phone calls, especially a few things that you know are going to be stressful, not having those stressful conversations or just winding down um, kind of early in the day. So not, you know, going grocery shopping too late or, you know, doing things even that might just seem kind of normal, you know, other times of the day, but just taking that evening time for relaxation. So really what's been the most helpful is setting those habits and getting those habits in place. Um, and then doing yoga and doing breathing exercises really rewires our nervous system. So kind of having a daily practice of the yoga that is right for, you know, your particular type or what's happening for you right now, this can be really helpful. Um, in terms of this, the 40 day sleep challenge, I have not been doing a good job of getting to bed at nine. Um, and that's one of the things, so it's, it's really helped me to identify more of what are the things I need to do to fine tune to have even better sleep. Um, as this insomnia has come a long way and now I almost consistently can fall asleep pretty easily, but I have this habit of not going to bed and staying up late. And I think it's, almost a kind of a fear because I have all these memories of being awake all night and having trouble sleeping and it's very unpleasant. So it makes me kind of avoid going to bed. Um, and so that's one thing I've really been working on this past month um, is just shifting my mindset and emotions around going to bed because I have all these kind of negative emotions attached to it. And the way that's, uh, that I've been working with that, what's been really, really helpful is just allowing myself to feel those emotions. There's a lot of um, kind of fear or, you know, just feeling of uh, loneliness and memories of like being in bed and, you know, being a child and being alone. And my mom would just get mad at me if I told her I couldn't sleep because I guess she got kind of tired of it after a while. And, you know, so all these things, all these memories are kind of like stacked up. Um, so I kind of came to the conclusion that I would give myself time every night to feel those things before going to bed. So instead of trying to avoid them, creating a ritual around them. And so um, that can look like either doing like some really gentle or restorative yoga and allowing whatever feelings to come and just observing them, letting them go. I have a video about how to do that, which I can link below. Um, and the other um, thing that, you know, it can look like is doing some meditation 
I'm just allowing my thoughts to come up or just lying down and getting ready as if I'm going to sleep. Um, but instead of trying to go right to sleep, doing that same thing that I would do in the restorative poses, just allowing those emotions to go through. And then um, that's been really helping to kind of get through those emotional blocks to actually getting in bed and going to sleep. Um, so I think that, you know, if you have a chronic insomnia, as you know, if you have it, it can be really frustrating and really debilitating. Um, it can be a long road to healing it. So um, I hope that this is helpful and it helps you to uh, work through that for yourself if you're having that issue. So thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.